Hey everyone and welcome to the individual customization and review video series. In these videos, we'll be taking a look at all of the unreleased vehicles from this Los Santos Tunas DLC. We'll be going in depth into the customizations, the top speed tests and overall review of these new cars. We have got a few of them, about 7 of them that are unreleased. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get on with the video. Coming to the first one is the new p Fister Comet S2 which is based off of the Porsche 991 Turbo S or the 992. I mean just from the initial looks itself you guys can make out that this is based off of the newer Porsche 911s. Not the older versions, you will be kind of you know confused it in the teaser videos but from just about every single angle you can make out that this is based off of the new one. I mean the front bumper right there, the splitter, the side profile and the rear tail section including the tail lights and the bumper design right there. Just about from every angle, this is based off of the newer Turbo S. I mean, yes, we got the duck bill kind of a spoiler right there. That is actually an auto spoiler, which you will see in just a minute. So literally like, you know, Rockstar has made many versions of the newer 992 models and they kind of like, you know, combine all of them into one. So the base car with, you know, a few minor front bumper upgrades, you can turn it into the Carrera. With the rear spoiler and few other little small minor changes, you can turn it into the Turbo S or you can also change it into the GT3 versions and if you go even crazier, you can also make the old school classic kind of Porsche builds with this car. So absolutely mind blowing. We'll be taking a look at all of those customizations in just a minute. Now going to take a look at the interiors. I mean, I gotta say, the interiors are really, you know, much better than the older P-Fister cars because some of these textures and materials look you know kind of new and take a look at the damn dials I mean obviously we can't see the dials but just take a look at them we get like five dials which is you know similar to the real life Porsche cars so really good job on that I mean even the interior kind of looks relatively new so I gotta give it to Rockstar for that point and this car is freaking priced at 1.9 million dollars and yes it's also available for a trade price of 1.4 million dollars but still just to give you all a reference the p Fister 811 which is actually the Porsche 918 Spider in real life that is the you know freaking hypercar of Porsche costs just 1.1 or 1.2 million dollars in the game and this freaking normal 992 Carrera cost freaking close to two million dollars that's the absurd rockstar economy for you i mean i've got no better words to explain that you know apart from that you know going to the sound and the exhaust aspects of this car well i can say you know it's somewhat similar to the older exhaust sounds so nothing too crazy And there you see the auto spoiler in action. The speed and handling of the stock car is pretty okay, you know, nothing too crazy or anything. And uh, moving on to the customizations, first up is with the paint. I mean, I thought of going for other colors, but the Turbo S looks absolutely freaking beautiful in yellow. So, you know, even white looks good. Just about every color looks good on these newer cars. I will probably just stick to this top color, which I don't usually do, but just for this car, I'll be making this exception. So race yellow it is. Then we have the secondary paint. We can change the, okay, changes the brake calipers as well. So pretty good. We'll quickly get the metallic version of that. And apart from that, we also get the option to change the stock wheels. I mean, this is not like unique to this car. We already have it in the street wheels category. So you can just go and equip that or you can also use the methods or tricks from the from the video that I had made earlier showing the simple tricks and methods to paint the stock wheels or rims of these DLC cars. So if you haven't seen it yet then make sure to check it out. It will come in handy to paint some of these new DLC cars stock wheels because some of them really really look good. So yeah for this one I'll just stick to the black. So there we go. Then the other good thing is that the interiors of these new cars can also be painted. Take a look at that. You can just paint it in whichever color you want. You know, for this, I'll just stick to the light gray option. 
And then moving on to the customization options. First up is that we have got the spoilers and we have got few different versions of the stock spoiler itself, you know, the aero spoiler. Yeah, we have got like a lot of options up here. And this mid-level wing kind of suits for the Turbo S build, if I have to say, you know, just from the side profile and the rear section. But the back day deck lid, even though it is, you know, of the older Porsche cars, it kind of actually suits just from the side angle, you know. So I kind of like this. It would have been much better if it was a little shorter, you know, not that long into the back, but this is what it is. Like I said earlier, you can do some crazy old school kind of a themed build for this car with all these wings. They are relatively older p Fister car wings. Some of these are generic wings, you know, repeated over time with the other ones. And finally, we have a crazy wing right here. Take a look at that thing. The mega wing. Oh my God. This is freaking insane, you know. That's so crazy. But for this build, I think we'll be going with the mid-level wing. But somewhat, I'm not happy with this from the front view or the side view. So I'll just go with the back tape deck light. I kind of like this one much better than the mid-level wing. Then we have the front bumpers. We have got decent amount of customizations. You know, we can remove those yellow kind of parts on the bumper. We also have the old school p Fister looking bumpers as well. Like I said earlier, you can do some crazy customization builds with this new p Fister car. And this one, the performance bumper with carbon, is just like the real life Porsche 992 cars. So really good job with this for Rockstar. And for this particular build, I could go with the tuner bumper. But for the Turbo S cars, we actually have that, you know, yellow fins or something on the bumper. So I'll just stick to this one. Next, we have the rear bumpers. We'll just get a closer look up here. We can actually have the bumper grill delete, which, which makes it easier for us to look at the exhaust. We can actually even delete the whole bumper itself. Oh my God. So pretty crazy builds. And a few different options we get for the rear bumper as well. So for this, I could go with the bumper delete or the spec rear bumpers, but you know, the turbo has doesn't have a see-through rear bumper. So just for that particular reason alone, I'll just stick to the stock one. I mean, I'm not doing like any of the crazy builds in these videos. I'm just showing you all, all the customization parts this new DLC cars have to offer. So you guys will get an idea on what all customization parts are coming and what builds you can do with this particular car. Next, moving on to the skirts, we have got, you know, quite a good amount of options here. So quickly going through them. Yeah, some of these are really good, but for this, I think I'll probably just stick to the street skirts for this. Not too much of a difference, but yeah, I'll just go with that. And then we have the exhaust options. We have got like six options and just to show the exhaust options, I'll be removing the bumpers for this. So complete full rear bumper delete cause you know, there's like freaking crazy options for this. Even though there's just little, it's freaking crazy. We have the performance exhaust, not too much of a difference here. Then we have the crossover exhaust. There's the race exhaust, which kind of, you know, removes the catalytic converters. So pretty cool. Then finally we have the turbo exhaust. Take a look at those things. Holy smokes. I mean, I'm just freaking blown away with this setup. Take a look at that thing. It looks so freaking insane. Oh my God, absolutely love it. But for this particular build, we won't be doing anything crazy. The real life car has somewhat of a, you know, single dual exit exhaust. So for this, I think I'll go with any of these, um, yeah, the turbo exhaust. This kind of matches up with the rear bumper installed. Yeah, there you go. So that's what we'll be going with. Then we have the hood options. For these two, we have got a good amount of options. You know, you know the secondary hoods, the carbon hoods, or, or other design hoods. You know, literally all of them look really good on this. And the SR spec hood, you can actually do the GT3 versions. Pretty good looking ones right there. So yeah. So for this, I think I'll go with the smooth hood. 
the stock one looks good but it doesn't have the hole in the real life one so i think i'll just go with this one the carbon versions also do look good you know if you're into that thing then we have the fenders so this actually adds vents to the front side of the car and also the rear over fenders as well so if you're into those things you can get this for this i'll just stick to the stock some of you actually will not like the op some of you will actually not like me doing it somewhat of a stock kind of build but you know it is what it is next we also get the fog lights for this car i mean you can literally do the rally version of this Porsche car as well so <laughs> freaking insane right i mean we're not gonna do but i'll show you all a small glimpse of what you can do with the rally setup after we are completely done with the customization of this car so for now we'll just skip that then we have the roof option we can get it in the secondary or the carbon finish you know this with the front black hood it will actually look really good but just for this we'll go with the carbon roof somewhat suiting to the real life one then we have the suspension we can actually go all the way down looking neat and then there's the front plate holder we can actually remove the entire front plate or you can have them side mounted as well and then we have the splitter options as well the carbon splitter actually looks good you know a little decent carbon splitter right there i think too crazy we also have a few other options depending on what builds you'll be making with this car so there's also the GT splitters as well. Pretty nice. For this, I'll just go with the carbon splitter. Then we also get the sun stripes, but I won't be getting that. Kind of blocks the vision in my opinion in first person view. Then we got like few more options for the interiors. As you can see, these are all personal preferences. These are also there on many of the new DLC cars. So. Like I said earlier, these are all personal preferences on, you know, various builds you can do this with. So I'll probably just skip this with all of the remaining cars as well. Then we have the lens covers for the headlights. I mean, these were a thing on the release DLC cars. So we get like few other options on this car as well, like these headlight tapes and also the usual headlight covers. These look really good. If you're gonna be doing any of those like endurance or the drift builds or the race builds you can actually cover the headlights and just get the fog light bumpers on these so that would look really good i mean take a look at that thing looks so freaking beautiful right even this too actually looks good you know like badass kind of a look more like a hornet face you know with those angry looking eyes so yeah i'll just be sticking to the stock ones for this then we have the accessories for the roof. You can actually get the roof box. We have it in the different versions as well. And there's also the off-road kits, you know, the rally bills if you're interested in that thing. Like I said earlier, there's the carriers with the tires and also there's the off-road rack. Take a look at that. You can completely change this car into a rally car. I'll just show the rally build in a minute. For now, we'll just stick to the stock one. Then we also have the wind deflectors. I mean, if you're gonna be doing the off-road build, this will come in handy. I'm gonna be skipping that. Then we have the libraries. We have the old school kind of a livery up here. So that is kind of a nice touch if I have to say, and the usual generic P Fister libraries. And the black P Fister graphics actually kind of looks good, you know, from the front to the back. So it looks neat. And we got few other options. The shark attack looks kind of, you know, crazy, if I have to say. Take a look at that. The teeth goes all the way to the front, so pretty crazy looking right there. And those are all the custom libraries we get with this car. And then we have the tint options. But unfortunately with this car, if we get the limo tint, Ignore the wordings right there. It actually, you know, completely tints out the front headlights as well. Take a look at that. The headlights are completely blacked out. That's freaking pathetic if I have to say. How, how could, you know, Rockstar mess that up? 
now i don't want to have a you know blacked out headlight so i'll just stick to the stock one you know just for now next moving on to the wheels we have got like a lot of options up here so i think i'll just skip these you know there's a lot of newer wheels as well but for this going for the real life looking one i think i'll just go with the mercy concave yeah, this is somewhat you know similar design like the real life one although it is in the silver finish for the real life counterpart we'll probably just stick to the black finish for this build so we'll be going with that not wasting much time with this and uh, yeah there we have it guys those are all the customization options we're getting on this car and the car came out absolutely amazing even though you know it pretty much looks just like the stock one this is how i would like the car to look you know like the turbo s that was just an overview of all the customization parts and uh, yeah now let's go check out the top speed of this car but before that like i said earlier here is the completely off-road spec car i mean i just wanted to give you all a glimpse of the off-road build so that's the only reason i thought of showing this but like i said earlier you can do some pretty crazy insane builds with this car so yeah let's go check out the top speed now going to the top speed test the first one is going to be the stock car in a sense we don't have any of the performance upgrades like the engine tunes the transmission or the turbo upgrades so going to the stock top speed test and let's go we are at 70 miles per hour 81 85 90 97 and we have crossed 101 miles per hour and 103 106 108 miles per hour is the stock top speed but nonetheless let's quickly get the engine upgrades all of those performance upgrades and here we go let's go check out the top speed of the completely upgraded car the acceleration seems to have increased like drastically take a look at that already crossed 90 miles per hour 101 103 108 miles per hour 115 miles per hour 117 looks like 117 miles per hour is the top speed of this car i mean that's actually quite less you know for the hefty price tag of two million dollars yet the performance ain't the greatest of these cars but you know the lot of customization options there will be some players that will be justifying the price tag you know just for the sake of customizations but yeah that's it with the top speed test and all the customization options the overview of this car i actually absolutely love this so i mean the design aspect itself is a huge win from my side so that with the ton of customizations we're getting with this car i absolutely give this car a thumbs up so yeah let me know what you guys think about this the opinions and thoughts about this car down in the comments and also make sure to stay tuned as up next we'll be taking a look at the emperor vector which is based off of the lexus rcf in real life so do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you haven't already thank you all and have a good day